Hello everyone. Welcome to our video lecture series on ISIS and human simulations. And today we are going to do a case study on isothermal and adiabatic flashing using HISIS and UNISIM. Uh, we have done a number of problems on flashing operations. Uh, so, this is just a case study and we will show you how to simulate an isothermal and an adiabatic flashing. Uh, these video lecture series have been organized by www.unitoperations.com and my name is Shekhar Bhattacharji. In the very first problem, what we have here is uh, 100, 100 kilo mole per hour of a hydrocarbon mixture containing 15 percent isopentane, 30 percent normal pentane and rest normal hexane. So, that is going to be 55 percent. Initially, at 30 degrees Celsius and 1 atmosphere is heated to the extent of 50 percent of the liquid is vaporized. So, basically, let us say you have a feed here. So, you have let us say a feed here and this feed is heated. Um, so, basically heated here such that here 50 50 percent of the liquid is vaporized. So, 50 percent of the liquid, 50 percent of the feed is liquid and 50 percent is vapor. So, the basically the quality is 0 0.5. So, when of course, it goes to a flash drum here and the flash drum of course, 50 percent of the of it would be coming out as vapor and 50 percent would be coming out. So, this would be vapor and this would be liquid and of course, this would be directed or connected by equilibrium relationships. Okay. So, this is what we have to simulate. So, why not we go directly to the simulation environment. So, as usual, uh, we go to the fluid package and we add the ping robinson equation of state. That is what it says in the problem that we have to use the ping robinson add the components here and the components are of course, isopentane and normal pentane and normal hexane. So, we just choose all three of them together. So, the fluid package has been chosen, the components have been chosen. So, we can directly go into the simulation environment we have done it a number of times uh, before. So, what we really have to do? So, let us define a feed here. So, this is let us say call it as a feed as feed and we will give the composition uh, and wh why not we give the compositions immediately. So, the compositions are 0 0.15 0 0.15 uh, pentane and then we have 0 0.30 uh, normal pentane uh, uh, and then we have 0 0.55 uh, normal hexane. So, that is what the uh, composition is and of course, uh, going to the conditions here, we have uh, the initially at 30 degrees Celsius. If you go to the problem here, you can see 100 kilo moles per hour. So, this is the composition initially at 30 degrees Celsius and 1 atmosphere. So, we go here and and we put here 30 degrees Celsius. Again, these problems could be done in so many ways. So, this is a very basic way I am showing how to do that. So, that is basically we put here one atmosphere and of course, we have to put one more parameter here which is 100 kilo mole per hour. So, that pretty much defines the stream which is ok. We have shown it a number of times before. Now, we have to bring a heater here and this in the heater. Uh, so, what we have here. So, um, we say the inlet is going to be the feed and let us call the outlet as uh, heater out, heater out and once we have done that and let us call the energy load on it, let us call the Q underscore heater. Okay. Uh, and also, we know in this case, we have to put the pressure drop. Let us initially put the pressure drop is equal to 0. This could be modified later on. So, once we have done that, so this would be coming out. So, and this is heated to the extent that, that 50 percent of the liquid is vaporized. So, we click on that heater out and we just say 0 0.5. Uh, as you can see here, uh, the pressure remains 1 atmosphere and the flow rate of course, will remain 100 kilo volts per hour. So, it is heated to the extent only 50 percent of the liquid is vaporized. So, we click on that and as you can see, this is uh, turned green. So, all the parameters have been defined here. So, that is what it is. So, it has from the feed uh, initially at 30 degrees Celsius 1 atmosphere, it has been heated to the extent. To what extent? If we heat it to 53.50 degrees Celsius, only then 50 percent of the liquid will be vaporized. So, this quality of the stream is uh, 0 0.5. So, now it would be separated in a vessel. So, we will just flash it here and we just take it here and to this one we add a uh, heater out and we let us call this as a vapor 
and let's call this as liquid and of course this is going to be an isothermal flashing then you click on that and uh, so liquid here and uh, so as you can see this is okay so basically at this temperature so what is the same temperature so this is the same temperature 53.50 this is an isothermal flashing so this has uh, the vapor portion is coming out as vapor and the liquid portion is coming out as liquid so if we look at the workbook here uh, so that gives the entire thing here as you can see initially at 30 degrees plus of one atmosphere so 50 percent of the liquid has been vaporized so the corresponding temperature is 53.50 and since this is isothermal flashing so the temperature will remain the same here and of course as you can see out of 100 kilomol 50 kilomol has been gone, gone to the vapor and 50 kilomol has gone to the liquid and if you want to look at their composition here you can see that uh, here uh, so these are my compositions and these values are given in my manual so isothermal flashing is very easy to do so that's the way you do the isothermal flashing now let's go to another second problem here uh, uh, 100 common mixture containing the same 15 percent isopentane 30 percent normal pentane and uh, Rest normal hexane at 10 atmosphere and 110 degrees Celsius. So you have to check the bubble point that it is before the uh, it is below the bubble point of the mixture, just to ensure that, that the liquid is uh, below, so that you know it remains in the liquid state. Uh, is throttled to an isentalpic well. So here we have the feed here here with the feed and of course we know that throttling a throttling process is an isenthalpic process so here this is at uh, 10 atmosphere and uh, and 110 degrees celsius when we throttle it of course the temperature is going to fall down and uh, we'll throttle it uh, to an atmosphere pressure so basically here we have the vessel and it will have the vapor of course coming out and here with the liquid coming out and this vessel is maintained at one atmosphere pressure Pressure. So basically, this liquid would be throttled, which is at 10 atmosphere 110 degrees Celsius, throttled to one atmosphere pressure. So we just this is a case of, of course, uh, adiabatic flashing, um, and uh, this is adiabatic, uh, and uh, of course uh, the, uh, the vapor composition and the liquid composition we would be able to find out exactly. Uh, through the simulation process so we will check uh, how to do that and we'll try to get these results given right here so let's see how to do it so first we go to the simulation process here and uh, uh, we as usual we uh, select ping robinson equation of state so we go here and we check ping robinson equation of state and then of course in the view uh, we add uh, isopentane, normal pentane, normal hexane. These are the three compounds um, that we have added. Uh, again so we just check it out and now we go to the simulation environment and let's define a stream called uh, say here uh, called feed as we and uh, what are the conditions here uh, this 100 uh, first let's define the composition the composition is of course as we have seen 0 0.15 is the isopentane and uh, then we have 0 0.30 is a normal painted and 0 0.55 is of course uh, the normal hexane this 1.0 so we hit OK. Now we go to the condition. What are the feed conditions? This is at. Uh, let's go here. Take a look at it. Uh, the feed conditions are 10 atmosphere and 110 degrees Celsius. So we go here and we see this is at 10 atmosphere. Uh, so we go here. We put it here. 10 atmosphere and 110 degrees Celsius uh, and of course let's see what the condition so this is as you can see this is uh, either either saturated liquid or sub cool liquid uh, let's look at the bubble point here so to look at the bubble point you, uh, as we have done before we check cross it out and we put zero here and and for this composition you see the bubble point is 143.6 degrees Celsius so when we say this is 110 degrees Celsius that means that uh, this liquid is below its bubble point and it should be of course this is a sub cool liquid so we put 110 degrees celsius here and of course the flow rate is 100 kilomol per hour so that pretty much defines the entire stream now we put a valve here uh, we take the valve and we put it to the valve here um, so put this as a feed and let's call this as valve out 
Um, so basically that's what happens. Uh, so uh, once we put this valve out, uh, so we have not defined the pressure yet. So what we have to do, we just take a separator vessel where it goes and we put the inlet as of course valve out and the vapor let's call this as vapor and let's call this as liquid so all the streams have been saved uh, so we can cross it out and now only thing that remains is that you define the pressure here and the pressure of course we said this is going to be one atmosphere because it will be throttled to one atmosphere pressure so the moment you define that all the streams are defined so this one atmosphere pressure means this vessel is at one atmosphere pressure so this is at one atmosphere so this will be throttled at one atmosphere pressure so that's pretty much it um, and of course if you want to see uh, what are the conditions here as you can see that once we throttle it uh, so, uh, to 100 atmosphere pressure so the quality is 0 0.4375 and uh, the, the temperature of course this is going to be 52.87 uh, degrees Celsius valve out the after throttling so 110 so it, the temperature drops from 110 degrees Celsius to 52.87 degrees Celsius and if you want to see the composition all the compositions are here so these values are already given in, in, my, <coughs> in, my, in my in my slide right here so that's the way you do it uh, you do the flashing isothermal and elevated flashing so uh, we'll see you next time in another video thank you